Oh, it was cold outside. Thank goodness we've come indoors and here we are in the caravan classroom. The first of a new series. This one looking at some weight terminology. A complicated subject at best. In the process of this we're going to use the caravan that we looked at earlier in the program uh, because on the side it has a, a label marked MTPLM. Well now that stands for Maximum Technically Permissible Laden mass and on the caravan we used it's 1345 kg. What it means is the absolute maximum that that caravan is allowed to be at on the road. It's built to be at that particular weight and no more. So you must adhere to that and never exceed it. Also on the label on the side of the caravan it had the word MRO if that's a word and it said 1181 kilograms. Well look, it stands for mass in running order. And it's a new version of what we used to call X works weight. That was the weight of a caravan when it rolled off the factory production line. But that's actually changed a little bit. Nowadays, and since 2011 caravans, MRO also includes those things in a caravan that are essential for normal caravan existence. Things like the gas cylinder and the gas inside it. And, and other equal items such as the toilet chemicals. All right, remember this one, MRO, because now we've got to do an important calculation. That maximum permitted weight, taking away the MRO, equals something called user payload. And in this case, the sums are, and you can check them at home on your calculator, end up with a figure of 164 kilograms which relates to everything that you can load in or accessories you can fit, uh, the absolute maximum is 164. And that can be divided up into three areas. So user payload covers accessories and most people want to fit things to the caravan. A solar panel may be something like a motor mover and some of those are pretty heavy. Personal effects including your clothing, your books, your crockery, your food, your laptop. And third area that all makes up this is the portable kit, like you might want to take an awning, you might want to take a folding bicycle, if it's the summer you might want to take a barbecue, if it's the winter you might be heading off with some pairs of skis. And I have to say, we can't go much further now because we're running out of time. In a future programme though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, look, if you fit too many accessories, you can't take as many clothes. Equally, if you have rather a lot of portable kit, like three bikes or something, then again that has implications elsewhere. So we'll catch up with that later on and now we're going to rush off to the Yorkshire Dales to see how Claire Kelly is getting on.